could it be, you know... Can I just add, sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm being yeah, very course. rude, interrupting. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> one of our professors here, <clears throat> he's, he said in one of his lectures, which was published, there are about ten and a half thousand papers published showing the devastation of trees, insects, animals, plants, and not a single paper out of the ten and a half thousand has ever been commented on in the press, the magazines, the papers, on television, and the BBC are the worst for covering this up. <clears throat> um, not a single paper has reached the public. Uh, and I can verify that. Uh, I had a letter, which I've still got, from... Uh, have you heard of Sir David Attenborough? Yeah. <clears throat> I had a letter from Sir David Attenborough advising me to take my information to the BBC to make a documentary. He said, contact a man called Neil Nightingale at the BBC Natural History Bristol. I've written three times, I've phoned twice, they won't even answer. They won't phone me, they won't even reply, the BBC. But of course, they are pushing out Wi-Fi and mobile phones. So the BBC will not even reply to my letters. <clears throat> I wrote to the top scientists, the top organisation in London, namely the Royal Society, <clears throat> and I sent them the evidence and said, this is crucial, can I please come and give a lecture to your scientists? Because look at what we have with the animals, the trees, the future of our children, everything. And I got a letter back saying, we are not prepared to discuss this. Of course, it's a government body. <clears throat> I wrote to my own university, Exeter, asking to prove it, because I am a qualified experimental physicist, university qualified. I said, please let me come. I had a sponsor to pay all of my fees and Exeter University, which is one of the top 10 in the country, said never contact us ever again. I'm banned from my own university. I tried six other universities those that replied refused to talk to me, said, you know, we will not allow this. And the last university I contacted was the Open University. It has a worldwide reputation for research, academic ability. I wrote to the Open University. I said, please <clears throat> let me do some research. I want to prove what I believe in. They asked me to send the papers, which I did, and then I never heard anything for months. And I rang up and I spoke to a Dr. Jamie Hall of the uh, biophysical laboratories. <clears throat> and he said, we can't have you to do your research here. And I said, well, why? I'm qualified, I have the funding, What's stopping me? And he said, your work is too political. 